and then we, we continue. So what you have seen here, can any of you comment upon? It's OK. So uh, whatever the things I have done, you have seen now, only because of different personalities within me, I happen to achieve all these things. Within me, this is the title or topic which I am going to talk about. Within me, there are many. So, <laughs> the first one I am going to introduce you is an ethical thinker who had pulled me out from the post of the project officer in a government undertaking as a mining officer and uh, again he pulled me out from an entrepreneur in the field of mining then lastly from the ownership of a uh, heavy earth moving equipment operator and finally he landed me in this food industry so our uh, previous speaker was talking about uh, tax payments. Though I am doing a limited business, I am a tax payee only because of that ethical thinker. <laughs> huh? Many people are doing multifolded business than me, but I don't think they are paying any tax. I am paying sale tax. I am paying municipal tax, I am paying, <laughs> paying all other taxes, including this income tax. So that ethical thinker alone pushed me towards focusing on your stomach comfort than your tongue comfort. So the other man is the entrepreneur. I started doing business at the age of eight, collecting the palm fruits, selling to my fellow uh, friends, and collecting money at the age of eight. And at the age of uh, nine, I started uh, uh, making kites, colorful kites, and uh, selling to children. There was also the ethical thinker. If at all some kite is not perfect in shape, I won't sell it. I will just drop it. And again, I slowly moved uh, to the field of uh, uh, selling these ornamental pieces. So if at all the quality and color of the fish is not good enough for me, I won't sell it. Only because of that ethical uh, thinker. So he's always interfering with, with my day-to-day -day activities in all activities. 
Of course, though it is a bit difficult, I feel satisfied that I am an ethical man. <laughs> huh? So, of course, that entrepreneurship uh, character was sleeping for about several years because after completing my post-graduation in geology, I assumed the post of uh, project officer and after spending several years because of this ethical thinker, I happened to pull out myself from that job. And after entering into this industry, the contribution of the geologist came. Because as you have seen, the cooking is made out of parts, clay parts. Clay parts made for commercial application. While you are using clay parts in your house, of course uh, our uh, grandmas were uh, using clay parts in their houses. They uh, were small in size and they were capable of cooking small quantity of food and all. But whereas in a restaurant, the parts required are of uh, commercial importance for which I have to search for good quality clay and uh, clay with good plasticity and local availability. So there the contribution of a geologist was uh, very comfortable. So also I collected certain frying pans in stone. We call it as soapstone commercially. Mm, petrologically they are called as steatite. Their occurrence is here and there in Tamil Nadu. And because of uh, uh, that uh, modern uh, uh, praying tawas, non-stick ovens and all, we lost those uh, traditional uh, cooking materials. Then I had gone in search of locating those stone occurrences, getting them mined, thus did with the elderly people who were exposed to those particular designing. So this is the contribution of the geologist. <laughs> mm? uh, then comes your mechanical engineer. He is the one responsible for designing all these machines, which are uh, having very simple concepts. You can see, no electronics, no computers, no ultra-modern techniques, no precision even. <laughs> but they serve my purpose. Because the impact of these machines, you can compare with the manual operation which had been shown here. So that the ultimate purpose is the nutrition and uh, Mineral values should not be lost in the food. The very purpose of taking food is to energize us. But nowadays we are taking food for so many other reasons like celebrations, birthdays, uh, weddings and so on where whatever the stuff we are eating does not match the quality of the food. But anyhow, you enjoy it up to you to decide in future. So this mechanical engineer is continuing his job now and then and he is always driving me to search for advancements and other designs. So how about the design? There might be uh, some mechanical engineers. <laughs> uh, so here, uh, the mechanical engineer is continuing his efforts now and then. And comes the person, a biologist, who knows very, uh, he 
if he's uh, we read the reader of books about biology and he has well understood the digestive system of our body organs existing within our body and what is the influence and impact of the food you are taking in these uh, organs and systems so while you are keeping it as a concern you have to design the food accordingly in order to support the systems for smooth functioning for that that uh, biologist read a lot of books collected so many aspects this biologist is having his own body and he is having his own uh, experience for the past 60 years so he matches the experiences to design the food to craft the food in order to ensure a smooth function of your bowel and so also the digestion and again uh, the other person is coming is your anthropologist <laughs> because we sapiens that's why i called you sapiens at the opening mm. the evolution of sapiens dates back to 400 million years it took 400 million years to get this design the cells the life came into the earth before 3500 million years but sapiens emerged i mean i cannot say the exact sapiens but the forefathers of sapiens emerged here before uh, 4000 million years and why i am saying this uh, geological time period means the organs and systems in our body took so much of time to design themselves and such important changes and modifications had consumed a lot of time whereas nowadays there is a spurt in our food pattern which makes negative impact and now we are very much particular about developing clinics to hospitals in numbers which shows very well that we are making hazardous impacts on our body because of our food habit and then comes your uh, oil monger you might have seen uh, that oil crushing unit traditional oil crushing unit i am hailing from that oil monger uh, family traditionally we were uh, crushing the seeds into oil and nowadays machines have taken that responsibility the ultimate result of those oils the impact you know because we can refer uh, youtube and uh, we can find a lot of positive and uh, negative comments upon the usage of uh, oils so from the family of the oil mongers i came and restored this traditional machine and it is being operated at our tanger unit if at all you go there and you can see so that the oil contributes a lot to our health then comes your uh, food craftsman you might have seen a lot of fresh farm fresh vegetables so nowadays this uh, catering technologies are focusing on continental food chinese cuisine now indian food and so on but they have not focused on our own food i cannot see even a single recipe in the syllabus of catering students my son is a catering graduate now 
I cannot see any single recipe of our origin is there in this syllabus. So I took the responsibility of designing those foods and the pattern. We are preparing more than 40 items every day. More than 40. Because you should decide your choice of food, not the hotelian. Nowadays, you are compelled by the hotelians to take the food whatever they serve. But whereas here you are pri privileged to choose out of those 40 items, and that liberty has been provided to, to you. Here is also the Ethical Thinker Act. And of course, we are not using any flavoring, uh, I mean, uh, softening agents or any chemicals or coloring agents, any such uh, chemicals are not used by us in our restaurant. They are intact in their own characters. So now comes the sociologist. Here you, my, you can see all the workers are ladies. So they have been empowered. My wife is the first worker and she is supported by around 15 uh, co-workers. They feel comfortable in their working and we are maintaining a very good uh, environment, working environment. Then lastly comes the family man, a miserable man, <laughs> who is not able to contribute anything to the family. Okay, after all, at the age of 60, I am at the edge of a person to be discarded from the family. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> See, as and when I am interacting with so many personalities, I am, I, how I can find time to interact with the family? So, I am helpless. Anyhow, my search for some other personalities within me is continuing. <laughs> so, this is the man who is here, the liar, managing all the other personalities. Thank you. This is Mohan, Mohan, Mohan. <laughs>